The US Navy just successfully test launched a pack of four AI-enabled long-range stealth ship hunting cruise missiles that can coordinate with one another while underway to identify and divvy up targets once they spot them. This test of the AGM-158C long-range anti-ship missile has massive implications for the future of maritime warfare. So let's talk about what this weapon is and what it's capable of. The AGM-158C long-range anti-ship missile, or LRASM, is a Lockheed Martin-developed air-launched stealth cruise missile with an incredibly advanced targeting and navigation suite. This weapon was based on the AGM-158B JASM-ER, or Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile Extended Range. But while the JASM-ER has a range in excess of 550 miles, the LRASM is limited to only 230 or maybe 250 miles or so. But that's because they needed the extra room for the incredible onboard computing power. Now, this weapon is powered by a turbofan engine just like a fighter jet, allowing it to fly along a very horizontal flight path, even skimming the wave tops, making them all but impossible to see until they crest the horizon. But what's most impressive about these weapons is the way they can autonomously target enemy ships and coordinate with one another as they close with those targets. Now, this is done by launching the weapon from an aircraft and having it fly along a pre-programmed flight path using onboard intelligence that was preloaded, as well as new target data that can be relayed to the weapon at any point via an encrypted data link. And once they successfully identify target ships, they coordinate with one another to distribute the targets to make sure that you don't use two weapons on the same target. Now, these sensors are so capable that they can even use them to identify the specific impact point on a given ship to have the most impact upon collision. And they pack a punch, a 1,000-pound high-explosive penetrating fragmentation warhead that was designed specifically to poke big holes in heavily armored warships. Now, these weapons can be launched by all sorts of aircraft, including B-1B Lancer supersonic bombers, the F-A-18 Super Hornet, the F-35C, even the P-8 Poseidon. But maybe the most exciting way these weapons can be deployed is via Rapid Dragon palletized munitions, which are, very simply, palletized missile racks that allow cargo aircraft like the C-130 or C-17 to deploy large volleys of these weapons all at once. Now, the C-130 can carry two pallets of six weapons, allowing a single Hercules to deploy 12 long-range anti-ship missiles to go hunting for enemy vessels hundreds of miles away. But the C-17 Globemaster can carry five nine-weapon racks, allowing a single C-17 to launch a jaw-dropping 45 long-range AI-enabled stealth anti-ship cruise missiles. Now, the long-range anti-ship missile has already been in service since 2018, and it's already seen lots of successful test launches. But this recent test was the first time four were ever launched at once to autonomously coordinate with one another to identify targets and distribute them amongst themselves, successfully demonstrating that these pack hunters really live up to the hype. Now, the United States recently placed an order for 549 of these missiles to be delivered through 2029. And by the end of that production run, all of the startup costs will have been absorbed into previous sales of this missile, allowing its per unit price to level out at around $3.2 million per weapon, which is certainly a whole bunch of money. But in the world of missiles, that's not very expensive at all. It's about twice the price of a top-tier Tomahawk cruise missile, but about one-tenth the price of the top-tier SM-3 ballistic missile interceptors launched by the U.S. Navy's warships. Now, this is all good news, but if you ask me, 549 of these missiles are not enough to sustain a prolonged conflict if one were to break out. And the U.S. Navy needs to pump those production numbers up. And we may yet see that through a reduction in orders for other AGM-158 family weapons like the JASM-ER.